everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and I am so excited about today's project. Let's take a look at this fun quilt behind me. Isn't this great? Look at our kitties. They're so cute. I just love them. Some of them have light backgrounds, some of them have dark, some of them are facing each other, and some are away. Just like all the cats that we know, they're, they're just a little bit obstinate, and we have to take that into consideration. I get so much mail from quilts with a cat sitting on it. Isn't that bizarre? Every time I lay a quilt out on the floor, guess what happens? The pets, they want to sit right in the middle of it. And uh, so I just thought we'd have fun doing this cat quilt. I have a cat at my house named Elsa. Yes, after the princess, and she thinks she is a princess. She is just a darling cat, and um, I just love this quilt. I think she's gonna love it as well. So this is a fun block to make. Uh, to make this quilt, what you're gonna need is one packet of 10 inch squares, and you're gonna need some background fabric. Now we, again, we have a light background, and that's the, this white here. The yardage also includes this first border, and that's a yard and a half. On our darker background right here, because some of our blocks didn't pop with the white, we decided to throw in a different background. And that is, um, for that we need a half a yard. So it's not too much fabric. Our border out here, this is a five and a half inch border. So for this size quilt, it's uh, one and a quarter yards. And the quilt's gonna end up being 68 by 77. Now the fabric we used is called So So, and every so it's S-E-W with an exclamation point, and it's by Bannertex for Canvas Studios. And I love anything with sewing notions. And I thought sewing and cats was just the perfect combination. Okay, so to make this quilt, we're gonna take one of our 10 inch squares. And it's almost like, which one do we pick? We're gonna start with this button block though. And we're gonna cut it directly in half. So we're going to take our ruler, lay it right along the edge of our square, and cut it right in half, just like that. Now, we're going to put these in two separate piles. You're going to probably want to do this to your whole pack. I'm just going to do one at a time to show you. Out of one, one of these 5 by 10 inch rectangles, your rectangles, look I said rectangles, just like it's already a cat. <laughs> All right, so on one of the five by 10 inch rectangles, you're gonna cut a half an inch off. So we're just gonna take that off right here. That's just our little waist right there. It's gonna go away. We set that aside. Out of the next piece, you're going to cut a three inch piece. So three by five, just like that. And that's gonna be, that's gonna be our head up here. And then for our ears, we need two two and a half inch squares. So we're gonna cut these two and a half inch squares. I cut a two and a half inch strip, cut that in half, and it gives me two squares. Now we need our background pieces. Now out of your background, you're gonna cut, a, I just cut a five inch strip, and I got all my pieces out of that. So I need one five inch square like this, and then I need one five by two and a half inch rectangle, and one two and a half inch square. And so that's for each block you're gonna need that. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this two and a half inch square, and we are gonna put that on the body of the cat. We're gonna fold, fold our little strip or iron it, draw the line, whatever you want, and uh, so that we have a little sew line. And I'm just gonna iron this so I get a little sew line. We're gonna put it up in the top right corner and we're gonna sew right across there and that's gonna make the tail part of our kitty. His tail is curled up under him, he's sleeping. So we have to make that, the back of him like that. Alrighty. So I'm gonna trim this off now and iron this back. Here we're trimming. And then we're just gonna roll this back. There we go. That makes our kitty body right there. Now for the head, we're gonna take our uh, three by five inch strip and we're gonna attach that to our two and a half inch strip, but first we have to do the ears. So our ears are going to be these two and a half inch squares that we cut out of the printed fabric. We're gonna put those on each side like this and you have to make sure your ears are going the right way. So this, we're gonna sew this from the outside in like this. And we're gonna sew one of these. 
and I guess it really doesn't matter because you could just flip it over. But um, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna do it this way because I get angly, you know, I get things all out of whack, angly, so I have to keep, keep my brain in the, going in the right direction. All right, so here's my first ear right here. I'm gonna press that down. Here's my first ear. Now the second ear, we're gonna do the same thing with. We're gonna put him on right here. So on our sew line, right across. This is such a cute little, little quilt. Whoops, my fabric went down in. Let's get that out. Sometimes our sewing machines do that. They just grab that fabric and take it down in there with them. A lot of people use those little things called leaders and enders that keeps that from happening. It's just a little square of fabric that you start and stop on. Alrighty, there we go on that. I think I really, I just had to slow down to get, <laughs> to get that so it didn't grab in there. I'm gonna trim this at one off. And iron that back. All right, so now we want to make sure that this looks like ears. So we're going to make sure when we put this, attach this block to this, that our ears are going up the right direction. You know, if we do it this way, it's not going to work. So we got to do it this way. And we're going to sew a quarter of an inch right down there. And this is going to make our kitty head. All righty. So let's press this up. There we go. Now all we have to do is sew this to this block here and then attach it to our body. And just like that, we're gonna be done. This is so fun. This is such a fun quilt to make. All righty. So now let me iron this back. And we want to put this on here just like that. Look at it. There she is. There's our little kitty. And we're going to sew a quarter of an inch across here and our block is going to be done. All right, now press it open. I have a little seam that's turning right here, so I wanna flip this over and make sure it's laying down. Make it go the way I want it to. All righty, there's your block. That's it, that fast, you get this cute little kitty block. Now, I wanna point something out to you because some of our kitties are going the opposite direction. When you do that, you're just gonna sew your head on the other side and your little square on the other side of, of her body as well. And that will put them in the opposite direction. Let's take a look at this quilt behind me. All right, so you're gonna wanna follow this um, diagram if you wanna put yours together just like ours. Of course, you know, that's left up to your own judgment. But uh, ours, we had this light squares, we backed them with the dark. So we just kinda mix those in here and there. But watch the diagram. These kitties are facing each other then all these are in the row the same way. These go the opposite way. So some are gonna be opposite and some are going to be going um, the, the other direction. And some are gonna have the dark background and some are gonna have the light. So you'll just wanna watch this diagram. And if you wanna make yours just like ours, then you can. Let's take a look at the back. The back on this, I love, I love sewing fabric. Look at this. Look, is that not the cutest stuff? I love writing, I, you know, those little sewing machines. I love this. So for the back, it takes four and three quarter yards um, on that backing and it just makes the most perfect quilt. Now we really struggled with names for this one. There were so many things that we thought we could call it. We settled on pins and paws and we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on our pins and paws quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.